Welcome, food lovers. Get ready to embark on a culinary journey like no other. Today we're bringing you the ultimate street food showdown, Korea vs. Asia. We're diving deep into the bustling, aromatic streets of Seoul and then venturing out into the diverse and flavorful realm of Asian street food. From the fiery taeuk balki to the delicate dim sum, from the comforting pho to the adventurous takoyaki, it's a battle of flavors, a clash of cultures, and a celebration of street food. Who will take the crown? Well, you'll have to stay tuned till the end to find out, so buckle up and let's get this delicious journey started. Dive into the bustling streets of Seoul with your taste buds where the aroma of sizzling teok balki teases your senses. Oh, the allure of Korean street food, it's a symphony of flavors that dance on your tongue, a celebration of textures that play with your senses, and a testament to a culture that has mastered the art of food. But if there's one dish that stands tall amidst the culinary chaos, it's teok balki. Imagine this. Chewy cylindrical rice cakes and thin slices of fish cake, all bathed in a fiery red sauce that's a perfect blend of sweet, spicy, and tangy. That's teok balki for you, a dish that's as bold and vibrant as the Korean spirit itself. The star of the show is gochujang, a Korean red chili paste that's a seamless blend of spice, sweetness, and umami. It's what gives teok balki its distinctive fiery red color and its unique flavor profile. The preparation of teok balki is almost like a ritual. The rice cakes and fish cakes are boiled together with gochujang, soy sauce, sugar, and garlic. The result? A dish that's a burst of flavors, a dish that's comfort food and an adventure, all rolled into one. But teok balki is more than just a street food. It's a cultural icon. It's the dish that brings friends together after a long day, the dish that warms you up on a chilly winter evening, the dish that's there for you at every street corner, ready to comfort you with its familiar flavors. It's a dish that's woven into the fabric of Korean culture, a dish that's a testament to the Korean spirit of resilience and innovation. So there you have it, teok balki, in all its fiery glory. A dish that's as complex as it's simple, as comforting as it's adventurous. It's a dish that truly embodies the fiery spirit of Korean cuisine. Now that's a dish that truly embodies the fiery spirit of Korean cuisine, but let's see how it fares against other Asian street foods. Before we embark on our culinary journey across Asia, take a moment to hit that like button, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe for more delicious content. Your interaction helps us continue to bring you mouth-watering street food showdowns from around the globe. Whether you're a seasoned foodie or just love a good food fight, we'd love to have you along for the ride. So go ahead, click those buttons and join our food-loving community. Now, let's set sail to the rest of Asia. Asia, a vast continent with a myriad of flavors. Today our taste buds land in Thailand, home to the world-renowned Pad Thai. Picture this, a tangy and sweet symphony of flavors, punctuated by a nutty undertone that dances on your palate. This is Pad Thai, a culinary masterpiece straight from the bustling streets of Thailand. As popular as it is versatile, Pad Thai encapsulates the very essence of Thai street cuisine. At the heart of this dish are soft yet chewy rice noodles, a staple in many Asian cuisines. These noodles serve as the canvas, absorbing the rich medley of flavors that make Pad Thai so unique. Now let's talk about the other key players in this dish, tofu and eggs. The tofu adds a delightful texture contrast while the eggs lend a richness that balances the overall flavor profile. But what gives Pad Thai its signature tangy and sweet kick? The answer lies in tamarind paste, a common ingredient in Thai cuisine. This paste, derived from the tamarind fruit, imparts a sweet and sour flavor that is truly hard to resist. And let's not forget the humble peanut, the unsung hero of this dish. Crushed and sprinkled atop the finished dish, peanuts add a crunch that contrasts beautifully with the softness of the noodles and tofu. It's the final touch that pulls all the flavors together. Now, how is this delightful dish made? It starts with stir-frying the tofu and eggs in a wok. The rice noodles are then added followed by a generous helping of tamarind paste. The dish is finished off with a sprinkle of crushed peanuts and a squeeze of lime for an added zest. Pad Thai is more than just a dish. It's a reflection of Thailand's vibrant culture and culinary history. Its sweet, tangy, and nutty flavors mirror the country's diverse landscape, from its bustling cities to its serene countryside. Pad Thai, a dish that truly captures the essence of Thai cuisine. But how does it stack up against our Korean contender? And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. The showdown between Teok Balki and Pad Thai. In one corner we have Korea's fiery Teok Balki, a staple street food that's as vibrant and dynamic as the country's culture. 
Made of cylindrical rice cakes, fish cakes, and often boiled eggs all drenched in a fiery sweet and savory gochujang sauce, this dish is a symphony of flavors. The chewy rice cakes, the umami-packed fish cakes, and the sweet spicy sauce, every bite of taeokboki is a flavor explosion. It's a dish that's deeply embedded in Korean culture, representing the country's love for communal eating and shared experiences. Across the ring we have Thailand's beloved Pad Thai, a dish that's as complex and diverse as Asia itself. This stir-fried noodle dish is a celebration of Thailand's culinary prowess. It's a harmonious blend of sweet, sour and spicy flavors, wrapped up in a plate of flat rice noodles, tofu or shrimp, bean sprouts and crushed peanuts. The preparation of Pad Thai is an art in itself, requiring a delicate balance of ingredients and a mastery of heat. This dish is a symbol of Thailand's rich culinary heritage and its ability to create a complex flavor profile with simple ingredients. So, how do we decide between these two heavyweight champions of street food? Well, in terms of flavor complexity, both dishes are on par, each presenting a symphony of flavors that dance on the palate. When it comes to ingredient diversity, Pad Thai takes the lead with its blend of noodles, proteins, and vegetables, wrapped up in a sauce that's sweet, sour, and spicy all at once. However, in terms of preparation technique, Teokboki shines with its simplicity, proving that less can indeed be more. Both dishes have their unique charm, but who wins this culinary battle? Well, that's a tough one. It's like trying to choose your favorite child. Both are loved and adored for their unique qualities. So, let's say it's a tie for now. But remember, the true winner is the one that makes your taste buds dance and your heart sing. After a fierce battle, it's time to declare the winner. We've journeyed through the tantalizing world of Korean street food and explored the diverse universe of other Asian street delicacies. We've tasted, compared, and analyzed. Now the moment of truth has arrived. Our verdict rests on three main criteria, taste, variety, and cultural significance. Let's start with taste. Both Korean and other Asian street foods offer a spectacular array of flavors. From the spicy, tangy notes of Korean tiak boki to the aromatic herb-laden pho from Vietnam, our taste buds have been on an unforgettable adventure. It's a tough call, but the depth and complexity of flavors in Korean cuisine edge out the competition slightly. Next, let's consider variety. Asia, being a vast continent, naturally presents a more diverse range of street food. From Japanese takoyaki to Indian pani puri, the sheer breadth of the offerings is astounding. Here, Asia undoubtedly takes the cake. Finally, we look at cultural significance. Street food is more than just food, it's a window into a country's history, traditions, and people. Both Korean and other Asian street foods tell a rich cultural tale. However, Korean street food, with its centuries-old recipes and communal dining culture, weaves an especially compelling narrative. So, tallying up the scores, it's a razor-thin win for Korean street food. It's the intense flavors, the rich history, and the communal spirit encapsulated in every bite that gives Korean street food the edge. But remember, this verdict isn't final. Food is subjective, and what tantalizes one palate might not do the same for another. It's all about personal preference, and the beauty of street food is that there's something for everyone. Whether it's Korea or Asia, one thing's for sure. Street food is a delicious reflection of a country's culture and tradition. Well, that was a tasty journey, wasn't it? We've embarked on a gastronomic adventure today, traversing the bustling food stalls of Korea and the rest of Asia. We've savored the tantalizing flavors of Korean street food, from the spicy taeokboki to the sweet hotiok. We've immersed ourselves in the diverse and vibrant world of Asian street food, sampling everything from the aromatic pho of Vietnam to the crispy samosas of India. In our showdown, we explored how each dish tells a story, how each ingredient is a testament to the country's history, culture, and people. We've seen how the simplicity of street food belies the complexity of flavors that excite our palates and nourish our bodies. We've discovered that whether it's Korea or the broader Asia, the street food scene is a culinary treasure trove waiting to be explored. But remember, food is not just about sustenance. It's a universal language, a tool for connection. It's about understanding and appreciating the culture behind every bite, every recipe. This is what makes our culinary journey so exciting, so enriching. So let's continue this journey together, let's continue to explore, to taste, to discover. Because the world is a delicious place and we've only just begun to dig in. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more culinary adventures. Until next time, keep exploring and keep eating.